This is um, our back transom and uh, what Beverly has done is she has removed our Ebus backer. Whatever you do, keep standing up. Don't sit down or I won't be able to see you. <laughs> yes, Beverly, I will be... Uh, I'm, I'm standing up. <laughs> and if they believe that... They'll believe you've anything. anything. So hopefully by insulating them, we'll keep the heat for where we want, which is in the boat. Let's do that last bit without the amateur dramatics. Okay. Puddle oh. of water just down at the, bo at the bottom here. Um, and this is all caused by uh, condensation mainly and it just uh, runs down the side and just collects at the bottom. So what Bev and I are doing is we're going to be putting insulation all along the side that will improve, um, uh, decrease the amount of condensation we have. But we have decided that we're going to leave this bit here free. So any water can still run down um, and it will just have to be a job that we do every now and then is remove um, all our stuff from in the beaver and clean it up. I'm so excited, Beth! Why? What have you got? I've got a big red package! Oh. And see what it is, let's see! Oh, yeah! It's a um, close cell phone, silver, sticky back plastic. <laughs> Somewhere in there, uh, Bev's undoing the um, uh, fuel that goes into the Eberspacker because there is the tiniest filter, which we'll show you in a bit, um, and it gets bunged up quite quickly. Bev warned me that she said, you can't film this, there's no space. I think she's right, there is no space. It's awkward, it's difficult, and you just have to get into awkward positions, but that's what living on a boat is like. So this is the other equipment she's got. She's got some um, cotton buds, our diesel inspection box. This is so that when we um, um, are having to change the diesel, we can... Um, this basically this we put diesel in this and then she's got a uh, fuel cleaner here this tiny little thing is actually the fuel fuel filter isn't it Bev yes okay we're hoping that this is the issue because basically um, the ever is not working again yeah so we're just hoping because this uh, is such a tiny little filter and we filled up the diesel tank the other day we're hoping that this is the issue. <sighs> this is um, our back transom. And uh, what Beverly has done is she has removed our Ebus backer because uh, it's time for its service. The Ebus backer was blowing out lots and lots of white smoke which apparently is either the glow plug, the filter, or... What was the other thing, Bev? What? What's the other thing that can go wrong with it? The filter, the... Uh, oh, the atomizer. And the glow plug. Yeah. So it can either be the atomizer, the filter, or the glow plug. So what Bev's done is she's uh, removed it and she's got a nappy. <laughs> Our... Um, just underneath it, just so that if there's any leaks, uh, the nappy will get it. And she had to work in this wonderful space, our back transom, to get it removed. Uh, and now she's off to Manchester to um, take it to the service people.
if you don't like this sort of game, I would advise you not to buy a boat because boat projects are just like this game. Everything has to be moved around to get things done. And when you're finished, you've got to put everything back. It's Saturday morning aboard Salty Lass and that means carry on with the boat projects. And this is what used to be our rear cabin and it's now stuffed with things from the V-berth. The rest of the boat doesn't look too bad till you start looking down in the floor and you find things like boom, you find things like boom tents, diesel cans, sewing machines. Meanwhile, up forward, the crew are supervising. Yeah, she's good at supervising. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Prue is good at supervising, as long as she doesn't have to get her little feet wet. What I'm using is uh, just um, windoline, uh, because this is a mixture of vinegar um, and water, so that I can just give it a quick clean, and that will remove any deposits on the side of the hull so that I can use the sticky back plastic later. I'm going to dry that all off. You can still see it glistening. That's better. So the main advantage of that is it removes grease and oils which stop the sticky stuff from sticking. Yeah. We don't want any grease, do we Bev? No. Preparation's everything. Yeah. Always scary when you uh, cut the first slice. Why? Well, what if you've got your measurements wrong? Oh, just have to do it again with them right. We should really be using a Stanley blade, but uh, <laughs> we've lost it somewhere on the boat. So Bev's kitchen knives are coming out again, aren't they, Bev? Sadly, so. I don't really approve, but what else can we do? Yeah. We will buy a Stanley blade, though. Actually, we've got loads of Stanley blades. What we don't have is the knife body. True. Can you say it again? We have loads of Stanley blades. What we don't have is the knife body to put them in. True. <coughs> This is our electrical cupboard and uh, I don't know if you can see down there but um, it's actually got some water in again from condensation but in this case we've got some electrical components in it so not a good idea that will certainly cause uh, um, a problem if I actually use that without drying it first so this is the space that I I'm going to be um, lagging in a minute because Beverly's getting on with her job, aren't you, Bev? Yeah. She's getting on with her job, and we really just cannot get two people in there at the same time. It's roomy, but it's not that roomy. Yeah, it's roomy, but it's not that roomy. So while Bev's doing that, I'm going to do the small electrical cupboard. Well, the Eberspiker's back from its service, so hopefully now I can get it installed and we'll be um, nice and snug and warm again without having to use the electric heater. Which is fine, but it uses a lot of electric. Currently it's roaring away in turbo bus mode as it's trying to keep a boat, which uh, still has a door open. Anyway, got the uh, this installation today, uh, which is for the Eberspacher pipes, uh, because um, at the moment our pipes are in the transom, and um, that means that we're heating up a space we don't want to heat up. We want it in the boat. So 
So as you can see, Beverly's just um, put one of the insulations on and now she's going to put another one up there from the Eberspacker which is just here somewhere anyway <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the Eberspacker and she's now going to cover that one we've already done one and we have actually got a little overlap but that will keep that um, pipe uh, nice and insulated and hopefully we won't be heating up this space where we don't want to heat up. Nobody's living back here in the transom.